It's Belinda sitting in the hot seat. That's right, sitting in the hot seat. Today at 4 p.m., I have Yoko. She is sitting in the hot seat. How well do we think she'll do? Do we think she's going to do a good job? I think she's going to do a good job. I don't know. We'll see. But we got Yoko sitting in the hot seat. And look at that. She is on time. Yes. She's on time for her. She's on time for her interview. So I just sent her an invite to join. And she's going to come right on in. Yeah, there she is. Yay, Yoko. Yay. Hi. Good, good. How are you, Melinda? Good. You're on time for your interview. You're already oh. off to a good start. That's it. It's a number one rule. It. You gotta be on time, right? You gotta be on time. Excellent. So let's get right to it. Before we do, let me say, Yoko is a life coach. She's a speaker and she's a hairstylist. At the end, I'm gonna let you talk about what you do and how people can get in contact with you, okay? No problem. All right, no so problem. let's start. Let's just jump yeah. on in. Okay. Tell me about your strengths and weaknesses. My strength. Okay. My strength is, oh, my, my strength is I show up no matter what. And I try, even if I know it's going to, um, maybe I'm going to fail forward. Okay. Right? Yes. I show up. I, I'm a shy, but I tell everybody I'm shy. <laughs> you guys don't You're believe shy? it, but, <laughs> but I'll do it. It doesn't matter. So that's okay. my strength. Okay. And your weakness. My weakness is sometimes I don't believe myself enough, right? Okay. And then I try to do the job like a perfect, perfectionism, right? And then sometimes I care too much how do I look okay? and, and you know, about the perfect or whatever. So sometimes that, that just kind of leads my weakness too, right? Like just too much. Okay. That's it. Yeah. How would you define a good leader or a good boss? How would you define a good leader or a good boss? Good leader, good boss. I think it's, there's no favor, favorite, oh, hold on, I have to, favoritism, right? Okay. And then uh, understanding, and then understanding employee and no favoritism. And then the leaders also, they have to act what they tell to the employee. They good role models. Mm -hmm. Yep. What would a bad boss or leader, how would you define a bad boss or bad leader? Bad leaders, bad leader is favoritism. Okay. Like favor because of, I don't know, like she, she likes you know, her a little bit, something, kids go to the same schools. Right. Or they don't show up on time. Some okay. leaders. <laughs> okay. Or they change their schedule. Okay. Like okay. according to whatever what's going on to to them. Okay. Yeah. How would you so. how would you define a good coworker or team team player? How would you define good, that? Good coworker is it's like ask co-workers what can i do for you how can i help mm -hmm. that's a good co-workers what's a bad one bad one is they sit down and they're just like it's not my job mm -hmm. that's the bad co-worker that's a bad one have yeah. you had a good leader before have you ever oh yeah a yeah leader or boss what, yeah. what made him a good boss it's it's like a trust employee too like my boss was, she trusted me. Actually, that was like, a, I start working as a hairdresser, as apprentice. Mm -hmm. And then she told me, I don't care. I'm going to lose my clients or not. Do try, you know, you cut hair too short. Oh, well, she gets upset. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> so that's a good one. Trust, right? Mm -hmm. Employee. So that's that. I still think she is. She was a good boss. Okay. Have you ever had a bad boss? Bad boss is she makes up her own schedule. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And why was that so bad for you? Because it's just so inconvenient. 
-hmm. Like just, I was counting on her to show up that time, but she said, oh, I guess something going on. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry, I'm going to be late. Mm -hmm. So I just like, okay, I have to stay extra two, three hours to cover her shift. Wow. Or uh, bring dramas, whatever's happening, her private life, mm -hmm. bring to work. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had a good coworker or a good team player? Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. What, what, just, made, what, what did they do that was so good? What did they do that good? Like you're just helping each other, right? Okay. When they're not busy, they offer help. Okay. Right? Even mm -hmm. if the little thing. Have so you had a bad I, one? Bad one is, like I said, even if I'm busy, they sit back and just like, it's not my job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just like chatting. It's not my job. So I, I hate that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you consider yourself a good leader? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm a good follower, but <laughs> I'm not sure I'm a good leader because no, I do too much which is not really good for good as a leader, I guess. <laughs> okay, what makes you a good follower then? Uh, I think I just like do, do the best what I can do for the leader. Mm -hmm. Right. And they show up on time. And then, yeah, like, like I, I hardly ever miss my work. Okay. So, you know, since I started working, I took care of myself because I know if I don't show up, it's boss, you know, leader is going to have a hard time. Right. And yeah. So let me, let me ask you, do yes. you consider yourself a good coworker? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, very much. Yeah. Why are you a good coworker? Because I help. And then I don't bring whatever is happening outside of work. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to bring it to a workplace. You don't I can drama. switch. No. I switch. I, I know how to switch my mind mm -hmm. and I can be in the present moment. Okay. Yeah. So I want to go back to you being a leader, a good okay. leader. Okay. So you told me some of the stuff, what made a good leader. Do you don't consider yourself those things as a good leader? Ah, I'm sure it's possible. You, I have you, to train myself, I guess. What do you think, Belinda? <laughs> I think that you're a good leader. Really? I think you, oh, yes, I think you're a good you. leader. Oh, thank I don't think you. you have to try. I think you already are. Oh, really? Yes, oh, you that's don't have to nice. try. Yeah. So what is one good thing an old boss would say about you? You, I, uh, she, what is that? She is such a hard worker in a good way like just helpful and then show up on time okay so what is one negative or bad <laughs> thing they would say about you oh my gosh about me about you <laughs> can you think of me okay 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 oh yeah okay oh it's hard to think belinda but <laughs> But you know what? Actually, I've been told so many times by coworker. Okay. They said, "You go, don't work too hard. You make us look bad." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah. So you think that's what they would say that they, you work too hard? That you make the other people look so, bad? I think sometimes, yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. That's my weakness too, right? Just too much. You don't waste any to time. breathe. You have to keep yeah, I'm gonna keep moving. So <laughs> it's crazy time, right? But yeah. One time uh, when we did a live before, you said that mm -hmm. when there was no clients, you still kept busy. Yeah, yeah. That's the sign of a good leader. I don't know. It's a, maybe it's a good leader. I don't yes. know. Sometimes, yeah, maybe, maybe. But I think it's like make maybe everybody else like you know uh, employee feels uncomfortable, <laughs> right? The good leader like you just okay. We have to keep it cleaning. You have to clean the mirror. You have to clean the bathroom. Whatever, it's okay. But sometimes like employee want to take a 
like, you know, have a seat, mm -hmm. right? You want to have a little, little bit of rest between clients. That kind of may, that attitude as a leader, I think makes sometimes an employment feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah. You think so? I think so, yeah. So <laughs> just, just like home, mm -hmm. <laughs> I learned to slow down. I think it's a good leader also knows I think it's good leader. I think it's like knows how to slow down, how mm -hmm. to take take a rest. Because I know herself. on Sunday somebody has self care, so on, they know. can slow down on Sundays and give, <laughs> give themselves some self care, right? I know, I know. <laughs> Somebody's teaching me self care too. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So um, let me ask you this: Yeah, you are hiring. What kind of qualities? are you looking for to hire somebody? If you are hiring, what kind of qualities would they have to have? For me, it's important. It's skills also important, but I think it's personality, mm -hmm. very important. And then habit. If that person has a good habit, like it's like waking up, you know, I mean, come up, how do I say? Show up work on time or in time, you know, five, mm -hmm. 10 minutes before. And then personality definitely helps. Skill, we can train, but mm -hmm. I'd rather come, like, you know, hire people, have already have a great, established a good habit and a great personality. So what kind, what, what, what's a great, per, what does that mean, great personality? What does that mean Great to personality is have people skill. It's good people skill. Like, you know, uh, it's not really, I don't really want to hire drama queen. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> Nobody does, right? <laughs> or like just, what is it called? Like needy, right? I right. need everything, right? right? Or complainer. Right. Or never be happier. <laughs> right. Don't want no way. None of them, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> none of them, leave all them away. Yeah. Uh, uh, leave them away, right? <laughs> Yeah. So what, so what, what would be your ideal? Like, what would they have to have? Like, what? come in on time? Do they have to be motivated? I'm sorry? Would they have to be motivated to work, work with you? Yeah, motivated? yeah, yeah. It's motivated. Yeah. Very important too. Yeah. It's just see... not. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's okay. Cause, I cause you said, it. I remember you said you can teach people how to cut hair but you can't yeah. teach people to have good customer service skills. Yeah, yeah. Right? You, you know, if I want to hire, it, it has to, the person already has to have the good personality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's if, if, even if like one person, it's like uh, has kind of trouble personality, that's kind mm -hmm. of toxic to workplace. Right. So, and, yeah. And what happens when that happens? When you have a toxic person, what what happens? What happens is it's hard to work as a team, and then make everybody else exhausted. <laughs> too. It does. <laughs> I've right? been there. <laughs> You've been there. I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so. so, how did that work for you? You work. You said you work at a toxic place. How did that work for you? Did oh, you? Yeah. It was it's, hard. It was hard. It was hard. But I didn't even think, I knew it was hard, but it was too hard. I didn't even think it was too hard. Mm -hmm. Like mentality, mm -hmm. right? I just like, oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. And then I realized that I lost so much weight <laughs> and pushed myself <laughs> so hard. I was, I was just like, it's covered with wrinkles because I lost so much weight in short time. And then I was exhausted and I wasn't happy. I came right. home miserable. Right. So I bring toxic to home, right? I both mm -hmm. road. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And then it home. makes home, makes home not fun. No, no, you, you know. When you bring not, toxic home, it doesn't make it. Not at all. Yeah. No. Yeah. So everybody, did Yoko Pass show her some love? She did a good <laughs> job. She made it through the hot seat. She didn't know what questions I was going to ask her. She did a really good job. You did an excellent job. Yoko, Thank tell you. them what you do and how they can get in touch with you. Okay. So 
as a like I I am also hair I'm a hairstylist, but it's like I want I am start working a speaker and life coach too. So if you need uh how do I say life coach by me, right? Am I speaking good English, Billy? Yeah, you do good. Okay, I'm good. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> send me a dm and an instagram instagram is a good because i'm always active i do ig live every morning to help the people feel better right one percent courage so i do japanese and english and then so you can send me a dm and then on instagram it also an in instagram profile i have a link tree so i put all kind of like i have put the link you know on the link tree uh like youtube and facebook and all those things so you can find very easy i'm very reachable and what time do you do your live on instagram instagram is 8 30 monday to friday 8 30 uh, a.m eastern time about mm -hmm. half an hour and i do english english monday wednesday friday and japanese Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday, Tessa Marie and I, we do, it's called self-care. Mm -hmm. yes. And what's that about? Self-care is uh, how to take care of yourself. Learn to take care of yourself. It's just with so many ways. We have mm -hmm. so much ideas. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we want to people to know, like, you know, taking care of yourself. That's so important. It is. Yeah, yeah. So. It is. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8.30, she comes on in English on Tuesdays and Thursdays. At 8.30, she comes on in Japanese. DM Yoko or, or Instagram. I don't know. Is it called DM? Yeah. Yep. Reach out. Yeah, DM Yoko on Instagram for, for Life Coach. Follow her on Instagram if you're not already following her. Thank you so much for sitting in the hot seat. You did good, Yoko. I would hire you. You're high. Oh, you oh thank you job. so much, Belinda. <laughs> <laughs>